Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I am going to tell you how to repair your dead Radio Master TX16S. How do you know your Radio Master is dead? If you turn on the power just like this, you can see the running lights on the top, but there is no screen display on the bottom. If you connect your USB-C cable onto your PC from the top port, and you still don't see your radio master detected onto your PC to reflash your operating system. That is how you know your radio master is dead. In my previous video, guys, I have already shown you how to reflash the operating system onto your radio master TX16S. If you have not seen that video, guys, I will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out. So, if you have done all of these troubleshooting and your radio master still do not boot up, most probably your radio master is broken and you need to replace the motherboard. In this video, I am going to tell you guys how to replace the motherboard onto your radio master tx16s so ensure that guys you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that i have to share before we move further guys if you're new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications from my new videos let's get started so guys, before we can start with the repairing process, let me tell you what are the basic troubleshooting which you need to perform before you can do a replacement or warranty claim from Radio Master. First thing and foremost thing is ensure that your battery is in good condition. If not, you need to replace your batteries on the back. Once your battery is new and replaced, ensure that they are charged. So ensure that you close the battery compartment and charge it from the USB type C port which is available at the bottom of your radio master. Do not charge your radio master from the top USB type C port. This is for data transfer only. So ensure that you charge your battery from USB type C port at the bottom and then ensure that your firmware is properly installed onto the SD card which is there onto the bottom and it is connected properly onto the bottom slot here. And then once you have done the basic charging, ensure that once you turn on the power, nothing is turned on onto the radio master. You can see there is no screen right here onto the back, but I can see there are the power lights running onto the top. So I know my battery is charged, but nothing is turning on. If you have done that properly, guys, ensure that you connect your USB type C port onto your PC. Ensure that you use the data cable, not the charging cable to connect it to the PC. If it is detected, you need to reflash the operating system. In my previous videos onto my channel, I have already shown you how to reflash the operating system. If you have not seen that video, guys, I will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out. If your USB type C port is also not detected, so this is how you know that your radio master is broken and you need to reclaim the warranty from radio master if your radio master is in warranty. So luckily my radio master was in warranty when this was broken. So I reclaimed the warranty here in this video. I am going to tell you also the detailed process how to reclaim the warranty from radio master as there was no retail shop from radio master locally available. So I had to connect it through their web page and through their support process. Once you reclaim the warranty, they will ask you to do some basic troubleshooting. Once you have done that, they will determine the root cause and they will send you the replacement part. In my case, once I reclaimed the warranty, they determined that the main motherboard of this radio master was broken. So they sent me the radio master main board on to me through a mail or courier and it reached out to me. So in this video guys, I'm going to tell you how to replace the main motherboard of your radio master TX16. So let's get started. So to raise the claim for your warranty, or support you need to go on to this website radiomasterrc.com I will put the link of the page in the description below for you guys to check it out on this page you need to go on support and contact us you have few options here to raise different type of support since this is a warranty claim it is going to be a technical support click on to submit a ticket here it will take you to this page if it is not taking you to this page you need to log in as you can see I have already created my login and I am already logged in here so it is taking me to directly this place to raise a ticket. You can put your email, subject and description. I will go back to the ticket which I raised before. So this is how I raised my ticket. This is Radio Master TX16S Mark 1 not turning on warranty claim and they give you the ticket number as and when you do the submit. So let's go further and check. This is a one year ago support that I requested. So I'll walk you through on how I got my part and all the instructions that were given to me by them. 
so I raised them a ticket saying that I purchased the Radio Master TX16S 1S on April 16, 2022. It is not turning on. So I also attached the purchasing bill. If you have, you can attach it as well. Otherwise, they will request for the same again later once they are through with the troubleshooting process. So as you can see, they replied back saying that I need to do some basic troubleshooting, which I already told you before that you have to reflash this uh, and check if it is able to reflash your battery is good connected properly turning on things like that so I replied to them saying that I tried all those process it still did not work and then they gave me with further support instructions to troubleshoot in this time I have to do little more than basic troubleshooting I had to open it and clean the ribbon cables and things like that so they also give the link of the video on how to do it so I followed the process I cleaned everything and then I replied back to them saying that it still does not work. They requested me to send the name, address and proof of purchase with the serial number. Serial number is the QR code. It's a sticker at the bottom of your radio, which you need to scan to get the serial number. I get my serial number from there. It's just a sticker and it would fall off guys. So ensure that you scan it and keep the serial number at some place safe so as to be able to claim the warranty in future. So I replied to them with the serial number and address and the bill attached. They confirmed the details and they confirmed that they will be sending the part soon along with the tracking number. After 15 days, I followed back again and then they replied back with the tracking number and shipping details. And that is how guys I received my spare part or replacement part of the motherboard right at my house. So this is the process guys which I followed to get the warranty claim and get the spare parts at my home. Now guys let's see how to install this. So first thing and foremost thing you need to remove the battery and the power connections if any onto your radio master. So I will open the back compartment here and take out the batteries. It is connected through a GST cable. So I will just pull it out and this will disconnect the power. So I'll keep this aside for now. We'll keep this open and aside, we'll remove this back cover as well. And then second thing that you need to do is to remove the SD card which is installed onto the bottom of your radio master. So remove the SD card and keep it aside as well. Once you have done that, you have to open a few more screws which is there. Two on the top, two on the bottom and on the top there are two more screws that you need to remove. So let's remove them quickly. and then we'll remove top two screws as well which are there onto the top so we'll open this as well so this will remove the top cover so let it be hanging remove the side grips And then lift up gently your back cover and it will come out. Do not open it yet because as you can see there is a speaker connected onto the bottom side of the cover so remove it gently. To disconnect the speaker there are two JSDs one is here and one is here so let's remove those JSD. So with this you can remove that top cover and keep it aside. This is your motherboard itself. As you can see, this is the mod that I have done before for installing the GPS. It is still there. So we are going to remove this motherboard and replace it with the new one. This is the exactly same motherboard that is given to me for replacement from Radio Master itself, it comes with its own SD card. So I would not need a newer SD card or the SD card that I had before. So I'll be using this motherboard and this SD card that came along with it. So let's remove the jumper cables one by one. So first thing first, we'll remove each one of the jumper cables. And remember, we need to connect it in the same order onto the replacement board as well. So remove them carefully. 
So remove the jumper cables like this. Just pull it out gently and it, it will keep disconnecting. So this is the first jumper cable. This is the second one, the black one. And there is the third one here. Once these are disconnected, we'll disconnect the rumble motor as well, which is connected here. So with this one, I have disconnected all the visible connectors as of now onto the motherboard. Now let's take this motherboard out. You need to open these four screws. So you need a Phillips screwdriver. Let's open this. So once we have done that, we should be able to gently remove the cable, but we need to be careful because there is a flex cable connected onto your main radio transmitter. So that is what we need to remove as well. So to remove that, you need to lift this black cover like this. Lift up and then you'll have to pull the motherboard up and this will disconnect the black cable. Once you have done that, there is another cable onto the back, which is connected. The golden cable, we need to disconnect it as well. So same process, lift the flip and then the cable will come out. There is another cable which is connected onto the side. So this also the same process, lift the lock and then gently remove the cable. So that is how your motherboard will come out. Since this is your GPS connection, so this doesn't matter. Your Radio Master motherboard might not have this. So we'll remove this all together. So this is how your motherboard comes out. So now we'll follow the same process and replace the old motherboard with the new one. So this is the new motherboard that it came along with. So it has come with its own jumper cable, but we are not going to remove this flex cable unless it's not working. So we'll reuse the same flex cable for now. So I'm going to remove the flex cable that came along with it. The same process, lift the black lock and then take out the flex cable. So once we have removed the top flex cable, we are going to reconnect all the flex cable that was there before. So we'll start with the back side. So this is the one we need to connect it with the golden one. So lift the lock and insert the flex cable to its place and we need to relock it just like this ensure that it is pushed properly and then locked and as you can see the cable does not come out so we have connected it properly the same thing to the smaller one we'll do the same thing we'll lift the lock and insert the cable Once the cable is at its place, we'll relock it and ensure that the cable does not come out. So this is connected properly as well. Now we'll connect the main black flex cable to the bigger port. We'll insert it from the front, just like this, and then relock it so that it stays at its place. Now that we have connected three flex cable, it's time to remove all the cables from its path and replace the motherboard at its place where it was supposed to be. Once the motherboard is at its place, we'll replace the screws before we can connect the jumper cables. Now that it is at its place, now we'll reconnect all the cables. The JSTs, first the black one,
push it tightly so that it stays at its place. Now we'll connect the second one here. The rumble motor. Now we have this one. Once you have connected all of those ports, keep the cable aside so that it is not interfering with your motherboard. So that is how you install the motherboard. Now that you have connected all the cables, now it's time to reconnect the cover. So let's do that quickly. So there is a two pin port, which is here, which we are going to reconnect just like this. And then there is a two pin port here, which we will connect as well. Ensure that they are connected in the right directions. Now that this is connected, now we can close the cover. So first thing we need to do is put the cover back just like this. And then we'll put the top cover like this. So let's put the four screws back before we can power this up. Then you need to align the top cover with the ports just like this and then put in the screws and tighten up as well. Now we'll put back the grips from the sides just like this one. So just push it through the grips will be installed on the sides. We'll close the top cover and then we'll install the battery onto the bottom. We'll connect the JST first. Put the battery in, close the back cover. Onto my motherboard, there was already an SD card which came along with it. So it is already there installed. So I'll keep it that way. I'll close the back, the bottom cover. Now let's boot this up and see if it works. Welcome to HTX. Throttle warning, switch warning. As you can see, my Radio Master has booted properly. So this is my final install. So as you can see, this booted up properly. So my install was successful and my Radio Master works. So this is it guys. This is how you repair your Radio Master TX16S. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, please do not forget to hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I will try and answer as soon as possible. If you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching and clear skies.